Right, we're just coming to the end of another long weekend. Uh, I didn't get much of a break. I've worked pretty much right the way through. Um, I've just been doing some more nozzles uh, to get sent. Um, and now, just as an update, this is something that I'm thinking of changing the way I'm doing things. Now, because I have things like this to catch up on, I have a few orders for the smaller and a couple of the larger cabinets. Um, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, just recently I've been uh, working three days a week as a part-time job just to make sure the income's been coming in while the cabinet sales haven't been going well. And that has been good in, by means of always having that income there to make sure my bills are always paid. But when things like this happen and I end up with a whole bunch of orders all coming at the same time, uh, it becomes a bit of an issue because this takes a lot of time to build. Uh, at this stage, they're still all being cut by hand. Um, I've done a lot of the work for CAD and I'm in the process of getting quoted for having laser cut and folded parts so it'll just come like an IKEA package that I just weld up. Um, that will change things a lot but for now they're still all um, hand cut and folded on the um, that crappy little folder over there. It's a little bit too small for what I'm doing. Um, so they take a lot of time to do. There's quite a lot of intricate details particularly like in the reservoirs. Um, making sure that the returns on the, all the fold returns are all correct so that it'll fit together properly so there's a lot of work that goes into those so when I have large orders I've got a lot of those through I've got a couple of conversion kits that I have to get done as well uh, when it comes to doing the nozzles um, they just take too much time um, the reason I was doing them I wanted to keep the price low so that everyone had a, an easy way of getting into the vapor blasting game um, and if I push the price up to match the amount of time, um, the cost of the time that's taken me to make them now, because building those has taken my time away from these, which are a lot more valuable. Um, and not only that, when I'm not able to build them fast enough, I lose sales. So it's really valuable for me to be able to focus my time on those. And while I'm fulfilling order on orders on the nozzles, that just takes away too much of my time. And it's actually getting to the point where it's not really worth advertising for the price that it's going to cost me. Um, what, sorry, the price I'm going to have to put it up to in order for me to justify my time to spend on these. So what I'm thinking of doing, um, I can still offer these. I will have to punch the price up. But I do want to also have some models there that... Um, people are able to buy to get into the game at a low price so I'm thinking uh, I've just been doing a little bit of testing I need some more time to do more on them of doing a hybrid there so a lot of the stuff is really time consuming on these um, like the hose barbs on them and the air jet in them um, I'm looking at 3d printing those and just seeing whether or not it makes a viable nozzle so that's kind of an intermediary um, where I can still put them together quite quickly without taking up too much of my time and keep the price low so people can get in um, but punch up the price on these ones if anyone still wants them to the point where I can still justify spending my time on those now I did mention there was something else that I wanted to do um, a another a compressor related video this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time now and I just have not had the time to do it um, just recently um, speaking about it with my brother he jumped on board so we managed to get something together now this is just going to be a sneak preview if you let me down for a second excuse the mess we've just um, had a massive huck out trying to clean the bench out so everything's been pushed back here it's a giant mess and this project has been turned into a workbench but if we come over here it's a little bit dark a little bit hard to see and that is a 1.9 turbo diesel golf motor but as you'll see that's a very strange looking manifold on it and another one over on the top there. This has been converted to a compressor. So it runs on two cylinders. Um, and then the other two are running as a compressor. So um, this is still very much just a prototype. We want to do a lot more work on it. Um, but the next video will be testing its abilities. Um, and we'll be looking at showing how this works in conjunction with vapor blasting. So um, that's just a little bit of a sneak preview. Um, it looks really ugly at the moment, but we're going to have, have that tidied up um, when we come back to it. So, um, as we are for now, I will still be doing nozzles, but they are second priority to the cabinets. So, as you can see, this one's a smaller one. This is the 8060. Um, and I have a couple of those to build. As you can see, there's another frame around there waiting behind. And then just on the back wall there, right there. And then... Let's see it. 
down there is another frame for an 8080 so i have a lot to get through with those builds i still haven't forgotten about the little ghetto blaster i've been messing around with a few things on that just trying to get it to work a little bit better um, and i think it's about as good a performance as i can get out of that without heavily modifying the reservoir in it um, so we're going to do one more video on that i think um, and then also the sandblast cabinet if we come and have a look inside there let me turn around it's going to be inside there you can see one of those crappy guns so i've been doing more testing on those to see whether or not we can get them to work and i'm pretty happy with the results we're getting out of them um, that's starting to look viable so um, at this stage um, i got to focus on the um, the vapor blasters and on my other job um, but the main thing i wanted to mention were these nozzles here, uh, they will still be available, but the price will go up on them. I'm going to focus on the 3D printed nozzles and on this type. Um, and the other thing was the straight type like this. Um, I put in an order for these, and as you can see, they've sent the wrong ones. So that's a male, male, female, where it should have been the male, female, female. Um, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, no point in sending them back for how long it's going to take to get them back. I'm just going to buy some more. They're not that expensive. And I can use these on the rinse down system on the cabinets. So um, that's where I'm at the moment. That's why um, there, there hasn't been... Sorry about that. That's why there hasn't been many videos coming out because these have definitely been the priority. Um, and like I say, having three days um, a week where I'm away at my other job... It just really draws my time down so by the time i get here i don't really have that much time to do any videos um i do plan to come back to them as i mentioned in the last video and as you can see i have been doing some work on more and more content um but until i get on top of these this is where the priority is going to be and once that's done i'll come back to those videos i may be able to sneak in a video with the uh the compressor in the next week or so um and then i want to try and do a little bit of a mini series on compressors and i have been searching for more options uh, that seems to be one of the biggest holdups for people getting into vapor blasting i've done what i can with the nozzles to try and make them um, as efficient as possible using as li the littlest amount of air and still have a viable um, unit to work with but that's about as far as i think i can go with those um, you really need good air so the next thing i want to start looking into is um, just potential options that people have and finding a, a better air supply if you're stuck on single phase or you're in a country where you don't have a very stable grid um, just different ways of doing that so that's partially what the volkswagen engine compressor build was about that was built mostly out of scrap um, so that's one thing that we've done um, another thing that i'm looking at doing you can still see over under there is my old compressor from the last build it's very very noisy um, and you need a stable grid for it it is single phase but you do need the, the stable grid for it because it does draw um, a very high amperage. Um, so I want to do another video seeing whether or not I can make it more efficient, work on a less stable grid and still be useful for, for vapor blasting. So I want to start running through some more air supply stuff. Um, but until then, um, as I say, I will still be doing those nozzles, but I'm going to read through, think my pricing structure and and um, do a little bit more testing on the, on the hybrid nozzles to see whether or not that's that's going to work and i will still be doing the 3d printed nozzles so um, that's just an update of where i'm at and a bit of an explanation as to why there hasn't been much content uh, content coming out um, it's mainly been those so um, thanks for watching the video hanging out despite the fact that there's been very little explanation about um, what i have been doing and um, furthering the the sort of content teaching people about um, the workings of vapor blasting and making it more accessible this is more just of a catch-up as to why i haven't been around um, i am still doing a little bit of research and development so what i have learned will come out in later videos uh, but for those of you who are still around watching the videos um, thanks